Hey guys, so we um messed up. We got the um <laughs> we got the Airbnb booking wrong because Muhammad got a text that we that we are arriving today at like after the next like she was saying there's a group that's here from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it's 9 a.m. and we're here we realized we booked for Saturday but it's, we got here on Friday and there's a group coming in 30 minutes. This is bad guys. <laughs> and I think we're gonna tell her or we might not we're trying to make the room clean. <laughs> but there's hair on the floor. <laughs> Do it. I think we'll tell her to replace the towels at least. This is bad. Go. Okay, we're trying to go in 30 minutes. Else right now. Do you have room in your bag? Anything else that you want? Do you think she'll charge us extra if we tell her? So we just escaped our Airbnb. Um, we still don't know if we're gonna tell them or not. We're still deciding. Uh, it's very bad. Should we go up there? We can just walk there from right now. Okay, <laughs> just for, yeah. yeah but... We're just gonna walk over here in case someone. Um, now it's 9:50, and we decided to walk um, up Guatape or El. Pe Tell them we messaged El the lady. Um, we actually messaged the lady because we felt so bad. It was important for her, like just in case she has like some time to clean the room and stuff. Man. Okay, maybe I did see that. It was all Muhammad's fault. Not my fault. <laughs> Hardly my fault. You're the one who paid, right? You're the one that booked the Airbnb. I don't even have an Airbnb account. <laughs> oh, she read it. What no, did she, she say? Read it. She, read she just read the message now, but it's okay. You can also do a helicopter um, to the top of the rock. This is quite a popular tourist spot in Guatemala. Let's go our tickets to Piedra de Peñol. Quick stop to pray for forgiveness. <sighs> We're almost there. We made it! Walking down the um, rock, and I just bought colazione. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's not that high. So many people. Now we're in Pueblo de Zocalos. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. We hadn't really used the app before, so we weren't sure about it. Um, I guess that it's fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, Adios. What was it? What did she say? It was the Airbnb people. So like the company, the owner of the house contacted Airbnb and asked that we pay for an extra night. <laughs> but I said, I said sure, I'll pay for something, but like a whole night is a bit much. And then the Airbnb agreed. And then they just, they were like, you know what? It's your first time using the app. And I said, yeah, I didn't really know I made a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they just took care of it for us. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Airbnb. Thank you. Look at this butterfly. This is the seventh butterfly I've seen. Oh, is it a moth? Try and pet it. <laughs> bite him, bite him. 
Hola, Pedro. Pedro, Pedro. Wow. The dog, the dog just jumped on those guys. Look at it. <laughs> Plazoleta El Zocalo. Um, it was built. It was built in 2011, and it was one of the most representative places in um, Guatape. Yes, because it connects like all of the um, other places around. Some random fish they have here, and the houses look so cool. It's like it's smiling. Hola! Ha, ah, it's licking me. <laughs> Hola, pero. Hola. It's, you can see Pedro de Peñol. Right now, we're gonna try and go paragliding. Hey guys, you couldn't go paragliding because it was like too windy or whatever, the weather conditions weren't right. We're kayaking! <laughs> We're like the only ones kayaking. Everyone's like on their jet skis and their boats. <laughs> we made it to Pablo's house. Are you going up? Yeah, my pants are kind of soaked now. So we made it and we're um, putting our kayak down here. Hopefully no one steals it. So we're just going to head up to his house. His farm, sorry. We're going to Pablo Escobar's but um, he's like a drug, big drug guy. Five minutes, oh, well, three minutes and we should start back. Wow, okay. These rocks are so uncomfortable to walk on in bare feet. We're not actually sure if we can come in here though, but there's no sign saying we can't. This is actually the home of Jose Rodrigo Arismende Flores. We don't know who this is. And here's a um, rock we just climbed up this morning. You can see it all the way from here. I think we got it wrong. This is Isla de Fantasia. We just finished kayaking and um, I dropped my phone in the water and we were like looking for it for ages but lucky I found it and it was in this waterproof case otherwise it would have died. So now we're on the bus um, back to Medellin. It's going to be a two hour ride and once we get back we're going to go straight to the airport and catch our flight which is like, like 10 o'clock. Yeah, hey guys, so um, we just had dinner like two hours ago. We're gonna go catch a Didi. <laughs> we booked it and it was coming in like three minutes. <laughs> and they were like, three minutes is too long. Cancel the Didi. We took a taxi right in front of us and we were like, yes, yeah, we like, it's right here. <laughs> and they were like, oh, can you take us to the um, Jose Maria, whatever, blah, blah, airport? And then the guy's like, yeah. And then he starts driving. It was meant to take like 30 minutes, but he took like 40. And I was like looking on Google Maps and there was like three different routes. And the route he was taking was like- The longest The route. longest route ever, the bendiest. But he was going pretty fast. He was like going through like those double lines and stuff. And there was also, one that was straight to the airport and he didn't even take that. The worst part is he tried to charge us 150 mil, which is like, what is that? 75, no. Yeah. Like 75 and he locked um, the doors. New Zealand Wait. dollars and he locked the doors. He wouldn't let us leave the car until we paid it. But we ended up paying like 120 and then we were like running and our flight was at like 1030 and but it was like 1020. So like we ran through the chicken scanning bag thing and then um, we got to the counter and they were closed. The plane just like left. So now it's 1040 and um, we're here. Seven hours in an we're at the Viva Air counter trying to book another ticket, another flight at, what is it? 5.30 a.m. so we're gonna have a long night at the airport. And you know why it's bad? Because it's our, our second to last flight. 
we have to get there before like 8 30 to the international one so we have to get to bogota go back to our apartment pack our stuff go back to the airport again and then get on the plane so oh my god but yeah um earlier before i was like oh i have so much money in my thing i need to like start spending it <laughs> this is how god wants me to spend my money <laughs> yeah so um we kind of decided what led up to this moment um so it all started when we got back from the kayak and then we got changed caught our bus and got to the place and then we decided to take the metro to um this restaurant and it was kind of wasn't it took like 15 minutes to walk there and then we ordered and stuff i ordered this um monga Mondongo. <laughs> and it took like no 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 it was, it was like so hot <laughs> i think it was the soup <laughs> these people are just watching me vlog <laughs> Anyway, there was like this really hot soup and it was so hot. I'm telling you, it took forever. I couldn't eat it. <laughs> it was like burning the roof of my mouth and my tongue. So I, I couldn't eat it. And that was one of the things. And also it was like you had, you felt like you had to eat it because it was so And expensive. I had to eat it because it was expensive and I felt weird doing takeaway like five minutes in. So we had to leave the place like 15 minutes after we planned. And then it was also me me and Muhammad going to the bathroom afterwards. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> and, we could have and then that. the next one was canceling the DD. And then the next one was deciding to take that taxi. Yeah, wow. uh, it's not good. It's not good. We finally made it on the plane. Um, yeah, it's um, 6.40, no, 6.40 a.m. So last night we were trying to um, do our check-in because you can like do the online check-in, select your seats or whatever and get the boarding pass. So we were like doing that. We were able to like log in um, one time and then it was like charging us like these random fees like what was it like travel insurance or something yeah. so like extra 20 bucks and then we were trying to like deselect it so there was like a button that said a checkbox that said this is a voluntary um payment blah 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 if you don't want to accept it you can like untick the box and as soon as we untick the box um the like confirm chicken button would keep disappearing so we we're trying to log out of it and as soon as we logged out we were unable to like log back in so whenever we try it would say like can't find booking blah blah blah, blah. and then I went to the um, Viva Air counter and told them, like, asked them if they wanted to, if they could, like, check us in on their computer because I'm like, surely they can do that. And they couldn't. They said, oh, we can't do anything. Surely the website's down. Um, you have to, like, go to the actual checking counter um, two hours before the flight. So we just slept on these restaurant couches and then two hours before the flight, so at, like, I don't know, through something we went down to the counter and then we showed the lady um we like we were unable to do the online check-in and then she's like that's gonna be 120 what was per person 120 k um per person so that was like the same price of a whole like another ticket and she like we we're like that's like what the hell so we had to pay the 120 k each and that's like 60 bucks for just to print a piece of paper anyway we printed that the only good thing is that this flight landed 20 minutes earlier and i actually slept on the plane but yeah that was a pretty bad um experience so guys don't fly on Bieber air unless you want to be ripped off Hey guys, so we made it to Chile. Um, we have a six, five or six hour stopover, so we just walked out of the airport. Now we're gonna chill and walk around and like find some stuff to do. This is 
the potato horse again. That's freaky. The streets look so cool, like the how the building is look quite nice. Right now we're in some random park and I think they're having like dance performances and stuff so we're just gonna go check it out. Chess tournament. City is so quiet. Tienes mascotas? Sí. Cuántos? Dos. Gatos y perros. Solo perro. Solo perro. Snoop. Snoop. Snoop Dog. ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? Color favorito, el verde. Verde, ah. ¿Por qué? Porque es verde. PM, okay, so it's 10 10 pm. Um, we're here at the airport like at least two hours before, no, two hours before our flight. <laughs> Just to make sure we will make it on time. Hey guys, so we just landed in Auckland. It's 5 a.m. and it's kind of it's kind of cold. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this um, vlog. Thanks to all of our Colombian friends and the teachers um, that wanted to hang out with us and helped us the whole six weeks. If you like my videos, feel free to like and subscribe. Adios.